What's going on guys? So today we're out here at Lake Kincaid. Now, a lot of people, they come out here and they do a lot of boating and a lot of people do drink and it was 4th of July two days ago. So we're gonna actually be diving down here and see if we can find anything cool. Now, I don't know if we will, who knows? Maybe we will, maybe we won't, but we're gonna try it anyway. So a lot of people have been wanting to know what I've been using for gear. So right here I have the BCD, All right, I have the tank, and this tank will allow me to stay under the water for about 45 minutes to an hour. I have this dive light, as you can see, it's a pretty nice light. 1200 lumens. I think it's uh, rated at about 60 feet underwater. I have a dive knife right here, just in case I actually go underwater and get caught in fish line or something. All right, I have my mask and my GoPro camera right there. And I also have this bag. Now that's, this bag is actually what I use to collect trash or any valuable thing underwater. Now I just got this in the other day. As you can see, this is, a, this is a metal detector and it's rated 100 feet underwater. I can go to 100 feet under the water and actually detect. And the way it works is you go under thing metal and it'll actually vibrate and make a little bit of a noise and the light will actually blink as you can see. Also, I just got the phone with the owner and he was ecstatic. He was super happy. He's like, hey, I would love for you to come down and dive this lake. And I would like for you to dive in the marina and get all the trash and all the foreign materials out of the water. So I'm getting ready to dive. We'll see you guys in a second. find any Apple watches. I didn't find a snake or a big class ring or nothing of gold and value. But I did find this. I found a this thing. some kind of broom. I'm guessing they use this thing to actually brush off the boats and stuff. Now I don't know how long it's been under there. I'm sure quite a while. It looks pretty old. Also I found this buoy. As you can see this thing is halfway full of water so it's pretty heavy. I found a rag right here. Actually I'll probably clean this up and uh, use it at home. I found a bungee cord which is broke. That's why it's probably in the water. I found all these cans and solo cups. And I found these bottle caps, as you can see. The metal detector actually did its job. This lake is super dirty and I could not hardly see anything. When it, with my light and with the metal detector, I just had to go by feel, so I couldn't really see much. But I did find something pretty cool. Check this out. I found this right here. And with a little work, I think we can be able to use it again. And as you can see, it looks like somebody had the bad day fishing. They actually got their line and their hook and stuff. Caught on the chair and actually had to break. Cause this thing was stuck in, as you can see how deep it was in the mud. It was stuck in there. It took me, <laughs> it took me about 60 seconds to yank this thing out of the mud. But anyway, we never find, we didn't find anything that cool, but we did find some stuff and we actually cleaned up a lot of this lake and we're uh, gonna come back out here later on, maybe when it clears up a little bit so we can find some more stuff. As always, I'll see you guys back under the water.